Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers using React Navigation. Our viewer asks, how can I navigate back to the root screen without seeing the intermediate screens? Imagine you've navigated through four screens in your Stack Navigator app, and now you want to jump straight back to the first screen. The challenge is that while there are multiple ways to achieve this, each method shows a brief animation through the previous screens. Our viewer wants a clean transition from screen D directly to screen A without the flicker of screen C and screen B. Welcome back guys to another technical help question. I'll be going through the question, the answers, and hoping to help find that answer. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and get through and work to the solution. Now let's get started. To navigate back to the root screen without seeing the intermediate screens, we can use the navigationactions.reset method. This method allows us to reset the navigation state. Another approach is to use the go back method with a specific route key. This allows you to go back to a specific screen directly. Lastly, we can customize the navigation state by overriding the get state for action method. This allows us to define custom behavior when navigating back. In summary, you can choose any of these methods to navigate back to the root screen without displaying the intermediate screens. Each method has its own use case depending on your application's needs. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To navigate back to the root in React Navigation, you can use the pop-to-top method from the navigation prop. If you're using Redux, remember to update your Redux integration as well. This method is straightforward and effective for resetting your navigation stack. Hope this helps you with your navigation needs. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To navigate back to the root in React Navigation, you can set up a stack navigator with custom animations. Use the card style interpolators for smooth transitions. you can override the animation style by passing a parameter. For example, to create a backward animation when replacing a route, use the stackActions.replace method. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To navigate back to the root in React Navigation, there are several methods you can use. First, consider using Cardstack's Style Interpolator for smoother transitions. You can set up your Stack Navigator with a custom transition configuration to apply horizontal transitions. 
When navigating to a specific screen, you can reset the navigator state in your reducer. Another approach is to overwrite the get state for action method in your router. This allows you to prevent the navigator from going back to certain screens. These methods provide effective workarounds for navigating back to the root in React Navigation, enhancing user experience with smoother transitions. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. This solution demonstrates how to reset back to the home screen in React Navigation without creating a new route. The user checks if the current index is greater than zero. The code snippet shows how to access the navigation state and dispatch the back action using the key of the route. Here, Categories Nav refers to the Stack Navigator, allowing for smooth navigation back to the root. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. This user found a solution for navigating back to the root in React Navigation using navigation actions. They recommend reading an article that explains navigation and transitions in detail. They shared a GIF demonstrating smooth transitions between multiple screens, showing how to navigate from screen 4 back to screen 1 by adjusting the opacity of intermediate screens. The user provided source code for a stack navigator with custom transition configurations, including settings for screen opacity and translation effects. They explained how the transition works, particularly how to manage the opacity and translation of screens to create a seamless experience when navigating back. Finally, they included a brief example of how to integrate the navigator in an app, emphasizing the use of a background image. And that's it, guys. We've gone through, answered your question, I hope, and you found that resolution. Guys, if this helped, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, have a good one.